Toots exposed. Chain analysis. A Fed agent has been caught spying on Monero people. That's right. Chain analysis, friends. Let's go through. They have run a node and they've now been exposed for being cowardly scum. Who's done the exposing? Me. Not really, friends. I just posted it. I love every single one of you. Let's go. So chain analysis, friends. A scum Fed agent have been exposed for running malicious nodes. Remember, Monero is the premier privacy chain of crypto, but it is infiltrated by government spying scum. Now, they received government grants to backstab the crypto industry, and there have been other companies as well, friends. I know there's there's a there's a they're they're, they're just full on traders. That's it. There's just always that one trader that take like a five hundred thousand dollar grant. It's like two nerds. That's how it starts. Two nerds in an office, and then now there's like thirty nerds plus working there. And yeah, I, I hate to say it, but it is true. That's what they're doing. They're, they're, they're tracking everyone. They're reporting everyone. Um, and they got questioned about it. We're just doing our job. Bro, get get the fuck out of here. Who, the, who do you think you are? You're talking to crypto people, all right? That type of bullshit stuff, yeah, it works on the blue and pink hair weirdos and general mutilation, people cutting off their own nipples on TV. All right, those weirdos. It works for the puberty hormone blocker types. It don't work on crypto people, that type of knowledge. You understand? I'm making UFO videos and lizard people videos. You think we're going to actually take you for your word here? We're just doing our job, guys. So they have injected traitor nodes into Monero to do harm and damage to people's privacy. Oh, man. This, uh, friends, sometimes I want to like, I want to choke someone through the PC monitor. I just, now I've got some good news though. The Monero team, bless their hearts, they're actually doing this update thing, right? So I don't know how it works. I'm not a tech guy, friends. I guess Ivan, Sir Ivan the Great can explain, but uh, they're going to implement something called F. CMP, which stands for Fancy Coconuts, Mangoes, and, of course, Pineapples. Can't forget the pineapples, friends. Your missus will thank you for it later. Family-friendly show. Now, the only reason, friends, though, they were able to trace the IP address here is because they actually they set up a node and someone connected to it. Now, I don't know exactly how it works, but, yeah. I mean, Monero, friends, is very, very – it's a great technology – and um, it does make you wonder, though, if they will start up a thousand plus more nodes to spy on everyone. So that's how it starts, man. So we're still early, but it's getting there, friends. You can see it on the horizon. The, the clouds are dark over there. Where basically you can just you're seeing like, oh, you've now set up one malicious node. You've caught one person. You've got the little trap in. Now they're going to make their report for the government, right? The deep state scum. And now they're going to go, oh yeah, we set up one node and we did this. And an alter, a potential strategy is, all right, how about you go and set up 5,000 nodes everywhere and people all connect to them and suddenly you're just getting information on everybody else. You just start, that's what they're going to do. It's obvious they're doing it right now. Yeah, man. So, yeah. So, yeah, chain analysis, full of cowardly scum and cuckolds. Friends, you got to understand, we don't have uh, police and law enforcement in crypto. Unfortunately, we have to do self-policing. So if you find, friends, you go to a village, there's no police in the middle of these rural Indian villages. Yeah, so when someone out here, unfortunately, like does malicious things to one of the young girls, uh, yeah, the village does what the village needs to do. There's, uh, you know, the, uh, the punishment. So that's why you have to basically just accept in crypto. This is like, if you want freedom and liberty, it comes with this. There, there's no one coming out here to save you, but... Society regulates itself. It has in the past and it always continue to do that. Now, we can't actually do much because what regulation? We just tell everybody, hey, these people are cucks. They have small willies. It only works so much. Privacy is a human right. Do you want to watch people who are watching you taking a poop in the morning? Do you want to watch them? See, I don't mind. You want to look me in the eyes? You want to watch me in the eyes? Huh? I don't mind, man. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not normal. I'm a peanut brain. You know what I mean? Biscuits, so, so uh, but uh, no one else. No one should be like waking up in the morning. You know, you just want to have a banana and have a coffee, go hang a dump. You don't want to watch people who are looking at you through the glass. 
That's what they're doing effectively. Now, the posty friends, this is from Cointelalaf, and it goes through Reddit and the IP address, all the tracking. This is from the official Monero page as well. And, you know, I've even got confirmed here. So this guy talks about the upgrades, F FCMP, so uh, the fancy coconut, mangoes, and pineapples, and dandelion. And then Mr. It says, yes, once those happen, it wouldn't be a concern anymore. So he's obviously the OP, which is the orange pineapple, which is a great mix, actually, friends, for juices, by the way, or so I've heard. And uh, naturally, friends, so I've got to play some pump music because, um, I mean, he tried to warn us. This is Shane Hart. This is Richard Hart's only DNA confirmed brother. He tried to warn us that he likes Monero. And yeah, so Monero, friends, it's it's like the last. It's, you know how friends, we're on a pirate island? We're, we're on a pirate island. You know, there's coconut bra babes. There's mermaids here. They're doing backflips with the dolphins. You know, everybody's killing the ball with the apple in the mouth and everyone's having fun and stuff here. But there's a deeper, there's a cave out there in the foggy mist, right? And there's, there's a cave that sits on this tiny little island, which is away from our pirate island. And it's like really hazy and misty. And there's like, it, you basically, there's like that skull sign that says, warning, do not go here to go find the treasure over there. That's right. There's treasure over here. And I'm telling you not to go there. That's Monero. Okay. Now what's the treasure? Well, there's no real treasure. It's just a bunch of people sending money around. But, <laughs> but that, that's effectively what Monero is. It's like, that's that final island out there. And they use all these like different types of technology out here to make sure there's privacy, but it's going to be, they're going to try act actively find ways to try uh, track these things. But the tech so far, friends, the tech is still safe and that's most important. So, you know, speaking about bug ideas, friends, I know I want to report on like more pump and mental nice news and stuff going on here because you have, you know, Bitcoin at around 56 to 58K. This is the monthly candle for September. It's still Rectember, but hey, it's doing better than before. We still keep an open mind on what's going on in the future. A lot of people whipping out, you know, the smaller moving averages or the bigger moving averages, what's going on. Well, you know, man, Vans is just, it's the same thing going on. Look, I just, I, I'm, look, I don't care if everything goes to zero from now. I'm just seeing green weekly super trend and that's it. I see green weekly super trend. I stay with the trend. That's why it's your friend, Somi, may as well be your trend, Somi. That's it. As long as you are above $52,000, you're green on the weekly super trend. And if we go back in the past, friends, you go back in the past, as long as you just remained green and it closed above here, it just kept you long the whole way until the final end when everything went basically tits up. And that was the, basically the final explosion out here. Hopefully we get some sort of explosion as well. Uh, this is Jeremy. Jeremy Asoy. Who is the Circle USDC CEO? Man, you look like a bug, bro. I, I, friends, I made a video a year and a half ago. Like, he still looks like a bug. Look what he says in the bottom left. Please regulate us. Yeah. Please regulate us. I spot a soy boy and I spot a cuck. Man, I don't, I don't like this. Please regulate us. Yeah, that's good. Except for the fact that they don't know what the hell they're doing to regulate. Please regulate us, man. You're literally, you are a shepherd and you have 12 sheep with you. And you've put out a sign and said, hey, foxes, please come watch my poor little sheep while I sleep tonight. Come and watch them in this cute little cabin. There's 12 of them there. I'm going to go to sleep. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fox. I'm going to go to sleep now. You wake up. There's wool everywhere and it's game over. Okay, so friends, you can't trust these people at all. And uh, speaking of stablecoins, friends, Circle, this is Wojak getting touched by all these stablecoins. You know this picture, friends? You want to know where that came from? 2022. Mm -hmm. So when crypto was capitulating hard, right, when they were capitulating down, 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 all the way, right? You know what crypto Twitter was doing all the way here? Crypto Twitter was putting out this picture saying, don't worry, we'll save you because it was all these stable coins. And everyone was like, see, it's great. It's great to be in a stable coin. And then I was tweeting, I go, oh, now that everyone agrees that stable coins are awesome, wouldn't it be ironic if this was actually the bottom zone and this is the worst time to have stable coins? And that's exactly what happened. Did we not go up from there? Yes, we did, friends. 
And by the way, most retailers are in stable coins and most of them are cucks. Now, friends, I made a joke here. We're going to have some fun as well. So the worst crypto cycle ever is smashing us in the back of a head as we go to Winnipeg, right? And uh, I mentioned here that I just turned down a $500 partnership because I said, my brother, I'm so poor, I'll do it for 50 bucks. That's how the crypto cycle's gotten everyone feeling right now. Remember, friends, it is 100% confirmed that it's now the longest cycle ever and worst performing, okay? So longest, longest bear and lowest ROI by a long shot. If we were to, like, not be as bad, I guess, as before relative, altcoins should be three to five X higher than today. Your portfolio pretty much. Oh, oh man, that nuts. That sucks to see. See, Ethereum's down 40, 50%. Yeah, so Alcon should be like at least two to five X higher today. Basically, what your portfolio was in March of the peak this year, that's what it should be. But it's oh man, that sucks. A lot of things like 70 between 60 to 80% down from that point. Now, baby dolls, I'm just gonna play for you this nice juicy. Listen to the fat beast. You know what I've noticed, friends? Every time I get happy, just for no reason, I notice people get confused when the color of the candle's red on the month. They're like, how can you be happy? How can you be happy? Because you got nothing else left. Do you understand? You can't make the candle go green. There's no code you can do. There's no update. I can't make 400,000 videos on one coin. You just make everybody exit liquidity. People are buying in. You just got to let everything play out, friends. And you just, you literally have to believe. You go, oh, the same force that made us go down will hopefully be the same force that makes us go up. That's it. That's it, friends. That's literally what it comes down to. If a Pulse Chain altcoin has been performing better than PHEX so far, you are doing tremendously well, friends, because PX was given four key advantages, okay? So just, I want you to know, Pulse Chain altcoins, because it's a, it's a good barometer and metrics. Look, and so I'm telling you, man, like, I'm going to go through these four big advantages PX got, and there are many altcoins that are doing better than down minus 87% since March, okay? So if you remember this from the Simpsons episode, friends, this is Marge Simpson. Remember Marge? Her, her father, she finds out he's <laughs> one of the greatest episodes. He works... He works on a plane and she thinks he's a pilot. <laughs> and then he finds out he's the air hostess. And she goes there. She's like, don't look at me. And so that's why I put the PX logo on it. Don't look at me. Like it's like, yes, but before we ask it. And uh, oh man, it's gold. It's just, oh man, the gold. Now, look at these key advantages, friends. And I just wanted you to know that these advantages are stacked so hard in its favor and it still couldn't go up. Don't think, oh, it's never going to go up. No, no, no. Just think more like, oh, the cycles are just bigger than this one or two variables, man. That's it. The cycles are way bigger than this one or two variables. So PHEX, right? Firstly, the entire Pulse Chain was made for PHEX. So Richard Hart literally created Pulse Chain just to put PHEX on it. That's a huge advantage, right? Number two, Richard Hart did EHEX, anti-EHEX FUD tweets in March. And you can see the chart right here. So EHEX dropped down from his tweet. Bang. Oh man, what a crazy, crazy. It dropped down 87% and then it continued down to down 92% pretty much. But like his tweet alone, bang, down 87, 88%. Okay. So that was another big advantage to PHEX. He also had, look at this, number three, friends. The HEX website got updated to say the market has chosen and it said the community migrated over to PHEX. So those are on the websites, basically implying that thing's dead. Everybody migrated. Everybody's here. Everyone's ready to win. That's what everyone said. That's the third big key advantage. The fourth big key advantage, friends, was the EHEX farms on PulseX were rugged abruptly, never spoken about again, and only the PHEX to Pulse farm remains. So there used to be EHEX, PHEX yield farms. Everyone was excited and talking about it. Then one day, boop, it was gone. And that was because people were emergency end staking EHEX to just get in and then just like it was, yeah, it was nasty. Now, that's, that, by the way, the PHEX to Pulse liquidity there is still there. I know you, it'd be interesting to think about uh, if he rugged the PHEX yield farm on PulseX, 
what would uh what would PHEX's price be? What would the ratio be? That's something to think about. Because even if you go to the website for PulseX now, you can look at the farms. Remember, the hex pulse is giving 20% here. So if you remove that and people are looking at the rest of here, I wonder if they go, oh, I'll just get into ink pulse, 24, 28%. So it would be something to think about. You know, would they even keep holding that? It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's something just like to, you know, just, just explore in your mind. Now, even with these four big advantage fans, you got to remember, even with them, you couldn't be where the market wants to go. DeFi is like in a four-year bear market still. Chainlink, Aave, Synthetics, literally four-year bear market. And you, you look at the bear market by their BTC and ETH ratios since 2020. So there's, it's still in a bear market. Oh, man. And then it doesn't hurt, man. It doesn't help, man. Vitalik fudded DeFi, bro. I'm sorry, Mr. 4000 IQ alien, but are you a retard, right? How can you fud the narrative that literally put Ethereum on the map? DeFi. Man, it's just what? how far have they come? You just... Ah, well. Now, even these advantages, friends, I think all the Pulse Chain altcoins still surviving with the community have done very well to make it this far. Everything, friend. All the Pulse Chain altcoin community is not going to go through more. You've seen thousands of them, right? You have a Tropa, you've got Tangang, Gophers, Alien Coin, all of them, all of them. Pika and the, the Poker Center now summon out here and just all of these. It's gone wild. All right. Now, I want to show you how far away from the Testnet version 3 prices we are, man. Uh, this, is, this sucks because I remember how excited we all were at 12.7 cents. We were all excited. We're like, okay, sweet. Now we're only down 80% from the top. Hopefully, we make a floor. We keep going up. From that point, man, it dropped to 96%. And I'm not making it up. It is down 96%. So this was April 2023. Pulse Chain P, uh, Hex hits 12.7 cents. Man, it's 34x away to get back up there now. Right? 34x from today. So, man, even with all those advantages, man, uh, it, is, it is what it is. Now, ultimate lesson. It just shows you you can't force the market to give value to something that it doesn't want to. Outside of the current cycle, where we are in the cycle, and the other level of competition. Because, man, like, what what was the new narratives of this year? AI coins, real-world assets, memes, their product market fit was the new stuff. So a lot of attention and money went into them rather than old DeFi stuff by comparison. As I showed you, Meme's got 14x. Real World Assets did 3.5x. Layer 1 Coins did a 2x. And then DeFi only did like around a 2x as well. That that narrative. You can just compare 14x from Memes to like everything else. So that that's competition, man. That's it. That's why I uh, even go back, friends, I talk about, you know, even train stocks, railway mania. It's been going on for 150 years. The, the number one problem that investors face is they underestimate competition because they never think anything else can ever come around and challenge it. They completely underestimate competition. Friends, if it's built by a human, it can be replicated, I'm telling you. Uh, that's why you know has got the biggest problem of all, Bitcoin maxis. They're talking about that Bitcoin dominance, everything. Ah, oh, Ethereum is a shit coin. I'm like, bro, uh, you're still continuing to underestimate competition. I don't think Bitcoin... What it means to you is going to mean the same thing to people in five or 10 years from now as they make other new more coins. And we're, we're taking that bet by being in altcoins, right, as well. Okay, so that 12.7 cents target for PHEX, so friends, it's very important to get there. It's super important. I don't know how long it'll get there. We're 97% away. That test their version three. Shout out to the Squirtle Squad. I love the Squirtle Squad. That's everybody out here. Shout out to Mr. Pablo as well. It's been so long, I can't even imagine a 12 cent X. I forgot what it feels like. So there you go. Also, Mr. PGGC with the alien coins out here. One coin going up. That's good. You see all these, friends? You can't you can't force things up. It just takes time. Let's hope time is on our side now because I think everybody's been waiting for far too long for a pump. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, or catch you the next one.